Hey everybody, it's Matt from the house. I'm here with Jason from Burton and he's going to run us through some of the 2223 Burton outerwear line to see what's new. Let's check this out. Alright, so first up we're going to check out the Lodge Pole for men and the Lalik for women. So very similar styles and very similar materials too, but uh, Pretty good price in this thing, right? Yeah, just uh, this is kind of our introductory price point. It is still, you know, 10K, 5K. That is our, you know, minimum waterproof and breathability. You know, again, the higher up those numbers go, the, the better it is in each of the waterproofing and breathability. But um, this will definitely keep you, you know, keep you dry in, in most conditions. You know, critically taped seams. Really just a good basic snowboard jacket. A little bit longer cut. You know, the women's does go below, you know, both of them actually do go below the hips. You know, they do have all the features that you need. You got a pass pocket right on your, your sleeve there. So makes it easy. You got full on uh, pit zips on them. Two way zipper, powder, you know, powder skirts, living lining, you know, which is actually a thing for Burton too. Super, that, super important. Yeah, which uh, actually reacts with your body heat. So uh, the more you warm up, it'll actually um, make the jacket more breathable, allow you to dump more heat. And as you cool down, the fabric will actually tighten up, hold your body heat in. And again, it is a little bit more of a shell. So um, it is a great piece that uh, you can layer with, but it'll be good in, in all conditions. Super clean, modern cut. You know, the women's uh, definitely has a more drop, uh, drop tail. Yep. They do have the, the waist cinches, you know, in the pockets with the key clips, you know, basically everything that you just need in a snowboard jacket. All right, next up, we got a couple jackets that have been in Burton's lineup for a long time. I think we we're basically bordering on legacy on these things. We've got the men's covert and we've got the women's jet set. So why are these such popular jackets every single year? Um, a lot of it is, well, first of all, you know, fit and style, but um, it has just got a ton of value built in. You know, again, 10K, uh, 5K waterproof and breathability, you know, critically taped seams, but it is, uh, you know, a fully insulated jacket. So if this is one of those jackets if you want, uh, if you're riding in cold conditions, but if this is your one winter jacket, you know, uh, waiting at the bus stop, wherever. I mean, this is definitely one of your, your best value-driven pieces, but, you know, still a full-on riding piece. All right, and the next up in the lineup, we're looking at the men's PZ and the women's Layla. So nice, easy, easy, casual style jacket. But again, 100% built for snowboarding, got all the standard features, and I actually really like the look of this one myself. I just like this graphic across the pocket and everything too, but. Yeah, just super clean, modern styling on the PZ. A um, little bit better face fabric than uh, the lodge pole on there, but uh, a little bit better mobility on it, but just a cleaner, non-insulated uh, style here. So yeah. definitely a, a rider's piece, you know, somebody that knows that they should be layering to kind of adjust for all conditions, that sort of thing. And then you go to the Layla for women's. It is more of an at the hip, it is fully insulated. So it is a really warm jacket. It is kind of a little bit, a uh, little bit slimmer of a fit than uh, some of the other jackets in the line. So if a tweener jacket or if you got a you know really you know kind of uh, slender build, you know the the Layla is going to be a great great fitting piece. But nice clean modern styling on it. But again, fully fully featured riding piece with the pit zips and waist gaiters and you know pass pockets and everything you need in, a, in an insulated piece. All right, and next up we have the Dunmore for men and the Prowess for women. And we're definitely jumping up a little bit in the tech on these ones, right? Yeah, so we're going to that 10,000 millimeters of waterproof, 10,000 millimeters of millimeters of breathability. If you are you know, riding in warmer climates, you're pretty active, you're kind of a, if you do heat up a lot, uh, having that higher end breathability definitely helps uh, helps keep you a lot drier. So um, keep you from sweating, yeah, keep that keep, uh, keep, keep that moisture down keep, so your first layer has to work less. Yeah, keep that swamp out. So, um, <laughs> so the Dunmore uh, has been a great seller for us, kind of that classic, almost kind of workwear jacket looking style, has the collar, yep. um, but it also has the bonded hood on there. So it looks like you're wearing a hoodie underneath, but it is removable as well. Yep. So if you wanna, if you don't like running a hood or don't need to, you can totally take that out. And again, it is a fully insulated jacket with all the riding features, but it kind of has a kind of workwear style. And then definitely on this side of things, we've obviously got kind of one wood casual look here, but on this one, we've got that fur lining and kind of that classic parka style look to it. Yeah, so you go to the prowess for ladies. Um, it is the, that longer, you know, below the hip, you know, a little bit of a drop tail there. It is fully insulated. It does have the Sherpa fleece lining around the collar. Living lining, fully insulated, uh, kind of a stretch material. It does have the uh, wrist gaiters on there too, so to keep you a little bit, a little bit warmer, a little bit more cozy. So. It's definitely just kind of like that great mid-price jacket that's going to mm -hmm. keep you warm pretty much no matter what. All right, and then next up, we got a couple different versions. We got an anorak version in the women's, and then the men's comes in a standard and an anorak version, but we've got the Frostner, which 
This started out as kind of a seasonal piece, but it was so popular that it got moved into the regular line of bourbon stuff, right? Yeah, um, a lot of it, you know, is because it's a great, you know, great looking piece, first of all, but just overall, you know, these are kind of like what we call riders pieces. You know, it's something that you can layer, you know, you can and want to layer with if it's cold or you don't need to if you're in those climates where you don't need to layer. A little bit more tech looking, you know, obviously yeah. you got the anorak here. Um, again, available in both men and women, but um, anoraks are, you know, just a little bit more waterproof. You don't have the zippers through the front, a little bit more uh, mobile through there. You've got side pockets, you've got a kangaroo pocket, you have the side entry on the right side, and you get the pit zip on the left. Great riding piece at a little bit lower price than like what the, you know, the higher end AK stuff would be. Right, and then so, obviously you go over to the men's standard version of that one and you're getting all of those features, but then you're getting a little bit more of that tech look. You kind of have the articulated elbows and uh, a lot of different pockets on this thing too. Yeah, you got some like ripstop detailing um, on the elbows and on the chest here. And you'll really see it in the different color options where there'll be some, you know, more color blocking where this will you know, stay black here, but you've got you know some really cool colors to choose from too, giving a little bit more of a, a technical uh, kind of clean retro look. All right, and then getting into some of the more value-driven Gore-Tex pieces, we've got the Powline jacket, the men's and the women's, which actually does come in a shell and it comes in an insulated version, mm -hmm. but uh, pretty cool way for people to get into Gore-Tex and really understand what Gore-Tex does without having to spend the extra money on the AK stuff, right? Yeah, definitely, like like you said, kind of a lot of value driven into this, you know, with the Gore-Tex. Um, so again, anything that's Gore is guaranteed to keep you warm and dry. All the riding features that you need, you know, women's obviously comes in insulated or non. The, the pow line in the women's is a is an at the hip kind of fit to okay. it, so it's not super long, but you know, just a really good, clean, modern styling in, in that Gore-Tex piece with all the all the riding features, you know, living lining and, and all that, so. Um, and then the men's pow line, uh, kind of look at this as like a little brother to like the AK cyclic jacket, you know, that sort of thing. Again, fully Gore-Tex, but still that two layer design where With you've got the living the, lining, the living lining yeah. shell, you know, hanging lining in it, just a really good clean uh, style jacket. A little bit baggier fit on these two, kind of like the AK stuff, so it's a... Uh, something you can really you know layer with uh, underneath there so yeah so basically if you like the idea of the cyclic but maybe you're balling on a little bit of a budget and you don't need all the extra features that come with the cyclic this is a great great way to go all right and then jumping up to the pillow line jacket we actually have this in men's women's and both versions come in an anorak style as well but uh really really nice piece just feels really good looks really really technical too yeah, I mean, kind of like we were talking, like this is some of the best value out there right. with Gore on the market. Really clean, you know, styling, obviously designed for riding, but uh, both of these pieces are, well, with all three of the pieces or four, when you count the, the anorak, mm -hmm. but um, they are insulated Gore. So this is kind of one of those, like you just want one jacket for everything, but you know the beauty of Gore-Tex. You know, you were looking for to step up from that jet set or, or the covert uh, into gore. This is kind of that that next step. So the women's is a little bit longer cut. It's below the hip. Okay. Really cool styling on this. Does have that asymmetrical zip that kind of goes across the body and up, okay. so you don't have the, the zipper right underneath your chin. But uh, really good, clean, unique style there. And then the men's, you know, a little bit baggier cut as well. So something a little bit more team driven there. Uh, a little bit baggier, just more mobility, that sort of thing. Waterproof zipper. You got a couple of chest pockets. Uh, your normal pockets there. Um, obviously, all the the standard features like you would get in you know, all the other jackets with pit zips and waist waist cinches and you know all that kind of stuff. And then obviously they both come in an anorak style. So if you kind of like that, uh, not only that look, but obviously you want to get that little extra mobility, little extra mm -hmm. less paneling and stuff in those big pockets. You know this does come in women's and it also comes in a men's version as well. All right, and then last up we have the tree line and there is a men's and women's version of this jacket, but because of the lineup and how it was set, they actually needed a little different uh, ingredients kind of a thing. This is more of a technical shell on the men's side of things. And then the women's one, it's actually a fully insulated, super, super nice jacket in general. Really kind of topping off that value driven Gore-Tex lineup. Yeah, so like on the, kind of on the top end of the, uh, the women's Burton line, you got the, the women's tree line jacket here. Again, full, you know, Gore-Tex throughout. Um, it does have uh, the wrist gaiters. It is fully insulated. It does have the living lining. Definitely uh, one of the warmest, you know, Gore pieces out there. Yeah, so great piece if you want to have a really, really nice jacket. You want that Gore-Tex and maybe you want a jacket that you can ride in, but you can also chill in and kind of get that casual style. Mm -hmm. And then moving over to the men's jacket, it's a very, very technical jacket, but kind of in a little different way than the women's one. Yeah, so like in the men's lineup, uh, this is kind of, you know, crossing over into those lines of like where AK is at. It is that three layer uh, construction that 
we've talked about, a lot lighter, more packable, uh, definitely a lot more breathable, uh, definitely for warm conditions or, you know, definitely it's cut big enough so you can um, you can layer with it. Yeah. So. so again, super, super versatile jacket. Takes you again from those warm conditions. You throw on a good first layer, you throw on a good second layer. Mm -hmm. And it's basically like having a fully insulated jacket, but you do, you get that kind of versatility all in one jacket. So obviously you can see that there's a lot of differences in the jackets in the Burton lineup, but there's definitely a lot of things that are very, very similar from every jacket. We're getting that blue sign materials. We're getting that lifetime warranty. We're getting that living lining. A lot of things that really, really set those jackets apart from a lot of other jackets on the market. But if you got any questions about these or any of the other Burton jackets that we have at thehouse.com, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure it's gonna fit you and your needs as a rider out on the mountain. Also make sure to like, subscribe, definitely get that bell on T so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a new Burton jacket, get out and ride. Because any day of riding is a good day of riding.